yeah hello everyone thank you so much for joining me today again today is sunday and i am super super excited to have you come back to this channel i, I believe you found so much value i also believe that at this point you've seen the reason why you need to invite your family and friends to join you on this channel okay today i am going to be able to explain to you why it is important that you join me on this channel and then most of us kept hearing this line from me in the subsequent videos I've done, the recent ones I've done, by the way. And I kept mentioning that it is important that you join me on this journey. Okay? So today I'm going to be explaining to you how this thing I'm doing on YouTube is going to help you get absolute wellness. I know some persons will start asking, okay, Obina is not a medical doctor, he's not a dietitian, he's not a nutritionist. So how do you get to know how you can help people? attain absolute wellness okay i'm going to be explaining this with a simple um diagram i'm going to be explaining this with a little illustration by john w travis okay john w travis developed what we call the illness wellness continuum in the year 1972 and this wellness continuum describes how well-being is more than simply an absence of illness now i want you to remember that the absence of illness does not guarantee wellness that you're not feeling headache right now, that you're not having stomach upset, does not mean that you won't have them anytime in the future. It is also possible that there are people who we know, okay, will just get together, or somebody just went to bed and boom, they died. How did it happen? There were no signs of illness, there were no signs of anything. There are people who just drive their cars and on their way, they will just slump and die. These things are happening. And again, when we talk about lifestyle diseases and when doctors try to find out your family history of lifestyle disease, the idea is to understand the kind of decisions your family have been making over the years. And if you must have absolute wellness, you will have to stay on this channel. Okay? So I'm going to be using the illness wellness continuum to explain to you briefly how you can achieve this. Now looking at your screen right now, you will see a picture that has two arrows and these two arrows is pointing in two different directions, okay? It has the left arrow that is pointing to premature death. And then it has the right arrow which is pointing to high level of wellness, okay? These two arrows pointing in different direction are joined at a neutral point. If you look at the middle, you will see the white place, the white space there, that is where we call the neutral point. That is where most of us are right now. You don't have headache, you have no symptoms, that is nothing happening to you. The truth is, you can't see your internal organs. And because you can't see your internal organs, you may not be so sure that you're fine. So what do you have to do? Because the battle that we're fighting is not physical. Yes, it is not. Even though we feed these spiritual battles, with physical food we can't see them i'm referring to them as spiritual because you some people who when they get sick they take their sickness to the church or anybody else who don't believe in drugs but this time around i'm going to be complimenting what your doctor is doing on the treatment paradigm and the absolute wellness paradigm okay so like i rightly mentioned moving down to the right of the arrow that is the level of high wellness this is where i come in as a food coach okay it involves an increase in level of health and well-being so how do you achieve this high level of well-being and health? It is very simple. There are three things you need to do. The first one is awareness. Awareness is where this channel comes in. This is where every day I raise awareness and I'm telling people we will have to stay healthy. If we need to achieve the life that we desire, then we have to stay healthy. It pains me when I come online and see people start sharing posters of their loved ones whom they've lost through illness. They have done their best. They've gone to so many places to help them get better, but they couldn't do anything. Yes, death is inevitable, but you shouldn't die now. Okay, there are things you can do to improve your level of wellness. There are things you can do to stay healthy. There are things you can do to avoid diabetes. There are things you can do to manage your high blood pressure without taking drugs. There are things, so many things you need to do. And all of them is embedded on one thing, which is diet. All the lifestyle disease that are the increase in our society today, they all have one thing that links to them, which is diet. So for the awareness I'll be doing on this channel, I'll keep re-emphasizing. It is important that we eliminate fat and oil from our diet. Yes, you heard me right. Fat and oil is the major culprit of our lifestyle disease. And if we must make progress, then we have to eliminate fat and oil from our plate. 
But the most important thing is that the kind of cookware that we are exposed to, the kind of cooking equipment that we're exposed to, does not allow that level of precision for you to cook your food with little or no oil. And recently, people are beginning to do so many inventions on air fryer, a whole lot of them, different inventions to help people find a way to the minute um, fat and oil. I'm going to be very careful not to mention some brands, but if you are health conscious, you will know what I'm talking about. Okay? I'm raising an awareness, and then I'm also going to help you educate you. I won't just raise this awareness. This is where I'll be sharing cook videos on how to achieve all of these things. I'm going to educate to show you what you can do. And part of this education is the 30 days challenge that is coming up on the 15th of January. We will be having Dr. Sarah Dandizio from London join us on Zoom. Show us how to do all of these things. Dr. Sarah is going to tell us how to use Nigerian food. When I mean Nigerian food, I mean your rice, your soup, your forero, your mala, your wedu, whatever it is that you enjoy cooking in your kitchen, your favorite meal. We're just going to do a little bit of dietary modifications to show you how you can convert this same food into medicine. And remember, an average home loses over 85% of its nutrients just by the way they prepare their food. All these things I am saying, I'm going to take my time this year to explain them, get professionals to show us the depth and how to maximize all of these things to achieve absolute wellness. And then the next one is growth. Yes, when I share all of this information with you, I expect you to grow. How do you grow? Be consistent with the new lifestyle. Don't just watch these videos to just encourage me. Apart from the encouragement, yeah, I need the encouragement by the way, but apart from the encouragement, I want you to write down every simple thing you are learning from this channel. Share them with your parents who may not be able to access this video. Teach them these steps I'm going to be sharing. Like the yam, I, I said yesterday, I said, do not peel your yam, and I'm serious about it. If you have to eat your yam peel, that should be when you're done cooking. Okay, because 50% of all tobacco crops, their nutrients lies on the skin or beneath the skin. And when you peel them, you peel away the major nutrients. If you're trying to write an exam and the score is 100 and you lose 50, your chance of passing a sleep, you didn't do so well. Okay, so it is important that you protect the integrity in your food. It is important that you protect the nutrients in your food because you're buying this food to get the nutrients. You're not buying them to explore the volumes. You're buying them to get everything that you need in the food. Okay, so the growth requires that you stay consistent on the lifestyle. The growth requires that you eat your food as medicine. The growth requires that you exercise your body. The growth requires that you rest. Yes, you have to rest. Make out time to rest. It is important that you give in enough time for resting. Do not just wake up and go anywhere you want. Take your time. Plan your day. Make out time to, uh, to actually observe your siesta if you have to. Relax your mind. This body is a billion dollar body. You don't have to stress this body. You don't have to suffer this body. Yes, you have to work so hard. But beyond working hard, we just so that day you break down, you won't make any other money. Okay? So let me quickly go into the left arrow. The left arrow points towards premature death. This equates a progressively de decreasing state of health. Okay? And you can achieve your health generated in three steps. Number one is science. Okay? Every sickness has signs. If you are having malaria right now, it will start with mood uh, mood change. It will start with a lot of things. From mood change, you will have um, a headache. From headache, you have so many other signs and symptoms. And then when you go to your hospital, the doctor will try to identify what the symptoms are, which is why we advise not to do self medication. Please, 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 you need the relationship of your doctor. Your doctor is very, very important in your life. Most of people who have died of lifestyle disease died because they were not diagnosed. Yes, you could say, well, I don't have high blood pressure, I don't have diabetes. Because you've not gone for, the, for diagnosis, go and check your status, okay? Find out what you need to do to reverse them. If your chances are high, by the way, you need to know your BMI, know your weight and your height. Check them. You can go to the website on the screen right now, put in your weight and your height and find out if you are obese. You could start from there. Okay, so you need to know your health status. You can even know the best things to do to possibly fight and hopefully reverse them. The battle we're fighting is not carnal. We need to stay strong. We need to make sure that we do the best we can to stay alive and to stay healthy. And then when your doctor finds out the symptoms of this disease, what he wants to achieve at this point is to stop you from being disabled. Yeah, 
That is what he wants to achieve. He wants to stop you from being disabled. So what does he have to do? He has to put up medications. He has to make sure that he treats you and then push you back to the neutral point. Did you hear that? The doctor gets you back to the neutral point. And at that point, that is where he advises you. Uh, hello, Nedu, you have to start eating your food before you take your drugs. You have to rest. You have to reduce the stress. That is where your parents start getting all those advice from the doctor because they need to move themselves to high-level wellness. The doctor would not move you to high-level wellness. I've also imagined sometimes people are discharged from the hospital and they're not fine already. They are discharged and they're asked to come back two days later, three days later, to find out if they are okay. So at this point, doctor gives you advice on what to do. So this is where we're coming. This is where I come in as a food coach. I am here to move you to high level wellness. I'm here to take you on that journey of how to stay healthy and stay healthy forever. It is possible to solve that, okay? But while people are trying to solve this, you can also try your best to stay healthy before things get out of hand, okay? So you need to do your best to stay healthy. You need to do your best to avoid all of these things to kill you. See guys, I want us to be together in the next 70 years. As I'm talking to you on this video call, I have stopped taking meat and fish. Everything that has to do with animal protein, I have cut it down to 70%. Okay? I just do a little bit of fish. I remember, if you are over 35, you need to do a little bit of animals with four legs. You need to stop it. Possibly let them go. You have to avoid animals with four legs. Let goat meat go. Let cow meat go anything that has to do with four legs please 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 don't enjoy your money that way okay then you can do a little of animals with two legs yeah a little bit of chicken and then uh, uh, turkey just do a little bit of them don't make them a habit okay just take them a little bit and then you do more of animals with no legs do more of fish it is important okay so all of this is i'll be sharing with you on this channel like subsequently within the week i'm going to be preparing a very tasty soup without coming in contact with oil and water okay just a little bit of water to maintain the nutrient and then because water is a leecher by the way okay so i want you to go through this as i've listed today the illness spreaders continuum my goal is to push you and your loved ones to high level of wellness so guys this is very simple i want you to keep sharing this video if you've not subscribed again i want you to subscribe i want you to give me your comments share what you want me to cook any food at all any food list it you mean frying fish frying meat whatever you think it is impossible to cook without oil like i said oil is a killer let us find a way to achieve absolute wellness it is a journey and before i leave i'm going to just leave you with one principle I'm going to leave you one principle that I want you to have at the back of your mind before you make any decision with eating. It is called the principle of timing consistency. Now, the principle of timing consistency states that the reward for bad behavior is immediate, but the consequences are delayed. I take it again. The reward of bad behavior is immediate, but the consequences, they are delayed. So how does this get to do with what I'm talking about? Yes, you can afford to eat your meat, eat your fish, taking a whole lot of fried food, a lot of food that has fat and oil, and then you think it will not hurt you. Go and ask your parents. It is not easy for them. Go and find out from them. Why does treating our parents become the first major project we take on when we start making money? Okay? Yes, you will enjoy the test board, which is the biggest exception in the world. The test board will give you satisfaction for the moment, but the delay, the consequences, comes in high blood pressure, high cholesterol, diabetes, heart attack. Those are the delayed consequences. So I'm going to reassure you today, join me on the 30 days challenge. Click the link below to sign up for 30 days challenge. Check on the description box, sign up. Let us take this journey to heal our body. Let's detoxify the body of all the fat and oil. Let's clean up, clean up, clean up. That's the word for the general. I know you've eaten your Christmas rice, you've enjoyed the party, you've traveled back and forth to have fun, but it's time to clean up the arteries. This is how fat blocks up the artery wall. This is a ball, an artificial fat. This is what it looks like on the arteries. The arteries is blocked from what you've eaten the has part of oil it is high time that we clean it up let me also let you know that your body is hydrophilic in nature which means you have more blood you have more water in your bloodstream than anything else you need to eat healthy you need to stay healthy and i am committed to making this happen for you and your family 
okay so join me again on wednesday i'll be dropping the next video and i'll be making sure i'll teach you how to cook your yam without a single drop of water and how to also let me also even show you how water also being a blessing can also be an enemy to nutrition so thank you so much for stopping by again today and i can assure you that this is a journey that you would enjoy thank you so much for joining me and i have to go right now bye Thank you.